We've heard many stories the past few weeks about people divided by politics and race, but today, a story about people coming together. CBS News Venture Solely Live in Auburn, Gresham. Vince, one neighborhood spared by looting, reaching out to another that was hit hard. Brad and Jim, this is what a portion of Auburn Gresham's business district looks like. Boarded up and closed, hopefully just for the moment. It's blocking access to food and other supplies. Now, some might be inclined to say this is someone else's problem, but if volunteer effort is proving, they'd be wrong. One of the neighborhoods boarded up and picking up the pieces is where Rebecca Wise is raising two young boys alone. We're holding in there, you know what I'm saying, staying prayed up and praying for the best. Auburn Gresham and other Southside communities were already food deserts with limited resources. Civil unrest made a bad situation worse. It's actually not easy at all. Um, I had to travel to the grocery store. It's like 30, 45 minutes maybe. 60 blocks north, the Pilsen Food Pantry serves those in need. But though this community was spared by violence, many here felt compelled to act. It was very heartbreaking to us to see what happened in other communities. I also want to be part of the recovery and the healing. So the call went out throughout Chicago and the suburbs for food, clothing, and baby supplies. The response was overwhelming. The drive generated 32,000 diapers, 100,000 baby wipes, 100,000 ounces of formula. We're really trying to make a difference. Olivier Alexander lives in Wilmette, where he collected two vans full of donations. It is a way to make sure that people stay supplied. I can't just let them, you know, just, you know, suffer out there. It, you know, something has to be done, and it's only going to be done by the community. This afternoon, the supplies were transferred, ironically, to a vacant grocery in Auburn Gresham for a much needed distribution tomorrow. This is really all about us and what we can do to support each other. If something happens to our brothers and sisters in Auburn Gresham, it also is happening to us. And a mom these volunteers never met might tell you the same. Like me, myself, I feel like we're blessed to have people actually come out and help us and not only think about themselves and think about other people. Looking at the blessings tonight, Rebecca's boys are Brian and Corey. They're nine and two. Three people in one family benefiting from the kindness of many, and they're not alone. Reporting live in Auburn Gresham, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News.